how to contour your cheekbones. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. I'm Jo Reed, makeup artist at Blush. This is Zara, our model, and today I'm going to show you how to contour cheekbones, which is different from using bronzer to shape the face. This is great for people who have fairly oval shaped faces or round shaped faces that don't have particular definition around the cheekbone area. First of all, take a look at the skin tone that we're working with. Zara's got an alabaster skin tone, but it's actually a yellow based skin tone. So we want to use a blusher that has got those tones within it on the warmer side as opposed to the cooler side. And I'm going to be using an angled brush to find the cheekbone and pull underneath the bone using this powder to create a shadow underneath the cheekbone. So start by taking the brush, load up, tap off the excess so there's not too much on there. Have a feel and find out where the cheekbone is because you want to go underneath, not on top. If you go on top, you'll make the cheekbone look too high and if you come down too far, you'll drag the cheekbone down. And starting right back towards the ear, I'm just going to pull the cheekbone out very lightly using the brush with not too much powder on. The secret is less is more. You can always add more colour if you need to. Now at the moment that looks like a stripe and what you don't want to do is leave it like that because that looks awful. If it looks just like a stripe but we want to make that really soft so we take a big brush and we blend over the whole of that area up and then back so that you can no longer see where it starts and where it finishes. So this is very different from applying blusher. Blusher goes on top of this. We're just literally creating a cheekbone here. Okay, now I'm going to be using a blusher to go over the top of this. This is in a similar shade, but it's in a lighter shade. So it's in the same family of color. Load up the brush, tap off the excess, and now I'm going to go over the top of the bone. Going back and down. Don't go up like this with the blusher because you'll end up with a 70s stripe, which is not what we want. This is actually called the back and down motion. Going back and down over the bone. Now, as you can see, there's still some areas here which are slightly too defined. So I'm just going to take another brush with a very straight edge and blend these. Always blend, 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 blend. As long as you blend, you'll be fine. So now we've really got a contour on this side of the face here. This cheekbone is really strong. So now we're just going to do exactly the same on the other side. Starting right back towards the ear, coming underneath the bone, working up towards the cheekbone, just pulling it out very gently, really giving the face structure. So it's really important that you don't just go in a line here because you will end up with a very harsh line. You must go up underneath the bone, pulling out the bone, using the blusher, blend. And now we're going to go over the top. And you want the brush to actually meet that contour that you've, you've created so that there's no gaps in between. And there we have the finished look. Beautiful sculpted cheekbones. So now we have a nice structured look here, nice and simple.